Hey out there, slot car land. How's everybody doing this fine, fine Father's Day? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody's uh, having a good time uh, celebrating the holiday and and uh, to giving giving your parent, your father, some love if he's if he's still here. If not, at least you're thinking about him and 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 miss him greatly and all that good all that good stuff. So. Um, today we are going to be working on the fray car once again. We'll be installing. I noticed. I went back and looked at the other video. I noticed that this is about as far as we got on. And this is actually the other chassis that I bought. So we're on the other one now. But uh, we hadn't put the front end on it yet either. So we're going to be putting the front end on it today. And we're going to be installing the pickup shoes and adjusting the pickup shoes and talking about your adjustments for the that and whatnot. So um, let's uh, let's get let's get started. Okay, first off, before we get started, let's talk about what we uh, got here. Um, of course, if you want to find out all the parts that we bought for this build, go to the parts video. It explains everything we purchased, where we got it, and what the part numbers and all of that stuff are um, in that video. So if you want to reference that, go back to reference that. And if you want to reference the tools we're going to be using today, go to the tools video in this playlist, and it'll tell you what you're going to need. Um, you don't necessarily need all these, but it does help out a lot. And uh, But you, it shows you there what you'll need and where to get that stuff as well. So the uh, front end we're going to be using is from RTHO. Uh, its part number is RT-230. Now, most fray builders, just to let you guys know, um, use a different front end. They use a kind of a triangle um, hinged weight on their front ends. We don't because that hinged front end does not work on all race tracks. On some of the clip tracks, it does not work very well and gets the front of the weight gets caught on the joint of the plastic tracks. So we use the one with the curved weight, which is what this part number is, because that front end works on all race tracks that we run on within our group and, and work just as well as the other one. It's just a preference thing, but that's the one we use. Um, you're going to need... Your pickup shoes, these are pre-bent shoes that you can get. Um, they're wizard shoes. You can get them at Wizard. You can also find them at RTHO. Um, I think these are the only shoes he sells now, so you, uh, you're not necessarily going to need the part number. Just look for pre-bent wizard pickup shoes, and you'll be able to find it there. And then the pickup shoe springs we are, are using are Doc Odgen pickup shoe springs. You can also find these at uh, RTHO as well. So that's what that's the parts that we're putting on today. So I'll let me get the camera down here, get all set up, and we'll start putting this thing together. Just to let you guys know, this car, this cha this particular chassis is not fully done yet. I still have to polish the rear end on this car, and I gotta adjust this rear axle a little bit. As you can see, it's still not wanting to fit inside the tech block very well. I gotta get these wheels on it just a little better, but we'll we'll work on that later get it 100 percent ready to rock and roll i just wanted to get it to the point where we could get to where we were on this one so we can continue with our fray build so let's get the rear let's get this new front end out so we're going to put this in the back hall this is going to be a short wheelbase car so i'll have a long wheelbase and a brand new short wheelbase car then we'll install the weights now there's a little pin on the weight so if you're putting it in the in the uh, short wheelbase hole, this little pin will be in the front side. Oop. This pin will fall on the front side of the weight. There we go. 
There we go. Now we'll install the other side. Come on. There we go. Yep, it's on there. Okay. We'll put the wheel on. Okay. Oh, damn it. Thought I had it on there enough. Sometimes once you get them started, you can go to your wheel press and finish it off. This is what we'll do here. There we go. And we're on. There we go. Okay, now we'll just install the tires like so. And we're on. So that's how you install your, your RTO front ends. Well, at least this particular part numbered one anyways. Some of the other ones are a little more complicated, especially if you're using the hinge triangle the weighted one. They're a little more complicated. So now, so now when we talk about shoe adjustment, we all know how to install, most of us should anyways, know how to install um, your pickup shoes. But there's, there's two adjustments that we're going to be talking about today. One is the contact with the rail and the other adjustment we're going to be talking about is um, how the adjustment from lifting the car off of the rail and how long the shoe stays in contact with the rail when you're lifting the front end of the car up. And we'll talk about that here, here in a few moments. Whoop. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do with these as soon as you get them out of the package is take them to your sanding block and sand down your shoes. What you're doing here is you want to get all the imperfections out of the, the, the step of the shoe to make sure it's completely flat so you got a completely flat surface to work with. So I have seen um, some really cool things. I'm not sure. I think this is a uh, scale engineering block. Um, and I'll have to ask him when I see him again. Mike Leach had a kit that had, uh, as you can see, this has sandpaper on both sides. There's a fine grit and a, a little coarser grit on the other side. He had uh, a kit that had three individual uh, blocks like this with sandpaper on them with different grits. And then he had a 3D printed slide that actually held the shoe as you're sanding it on the tech block and would help it keep it really really even i'm going to try and build my own with this one with this particular block out of uh plastistruct i still haven't got around to it i've been looking i got to go to the store and uh, take the tech block with me and go to hobby lobby and get the square tubing that's the same height as my block to to be able to do that but i'm gonna i'll have to show you guys that once i get it put together and whatnot but Basically, I'm just going to take my finger and put it on the inside step of the shoe and start just going back and forth. And you can see, and this one looks pretty good. I don't see too many, too many imperfections on that one. So we're good there. So let's do this one real quick.
give it a couple of scrapes across and then take it off and inspect it and this one looks pretty good too sometimes you'll find some are better than other shoes just depending on the metal that was used um, on them to uh, to uh, make them some of them have more um, imperfections Oops, popped out uh, in the metal than other shoes do even if they're from the same batch they'll have different uh, different different uh, Bits of the metal with different prophecies and whatnot. So just uh, just sand them down, get all those imperfections out, so you got a perfectly flat flat surface to work with. So there, now we got them all installed. So let's start adjusting them. You that is lower. So you don't want as much spring tension as you would on a regular car so if you look at this is my this is the other fray car that we that i've been racing this is kind of matter of fact this is the car that won the fray championship here i took that class so a very good uh build that we did with this car so as you can see that's a, a 2.5 on that side and a 2.4 on that side so and i don't have i don't have the pickup shoe guide pin in there but as you can see, we're like a 2-1 on that side. And a 3-2 a on that side. So we're got some uh, difference of a... Uh, there we go, 2-3. Three nine, so we're gonna have to figure out what's why that one's that way. So in uh, the pickup shoe tension, there's no set tension for these shoes. It just it's all about preference when it comes to that. So the next thing you're gonna need is your pickup shoe setup block. Um, once again, I reference the video on where you can pick these up. This one happens to be a skin scale engineering one. Um, we're going to typically, typically I set my shoes up for Stan's track, which is a .010. Um, the clip together tracks are usually an 014. Um, I do sometimes swap shoes out. Um, depending on uh, whether I want to or not. Usually, usually setting them at a 10.0 pretty much works for everything. Something else that will come in really handy for you guys is one of these. One of your um, parts holders with the magnifying glass and whatnot. I use this magnifying glass. And it's getting, it's getting loose for some reason. There we go. Now it's tight. I use it for looking at my shoes when it's on the tech block. I don't know if you guys... We'll see if we can set this up. Hopefully this will come out good in the video. I use it for looking at my shoes all the way down the, the tech block to make sure that they're making contact all the way down the shoe. It's a lot easier to see um, if you're mi missing contact when you get a really, really close look at the shoes. And lots of times with this, uh, with these wizards, you uh, you get it pretty close right off the bat. Now both of these look like they're they're riding on the heel, so we're gonna have to adjust that just slightly. That could be one of the reasons why too that one inside of these shoes are are uh, whoop, stiffer. Than the other because one side looks like it's riding harder than the other side so we'll just give it a little give that one a little torque Oop.
that one a little torque. And then we'll go back and take another look. And that looks like looks like we're pretty pretty good now. Both of them look pretty flat. And there's not much not much uh this one looks like it still might be a tad up in the very very front of the pickup shoe so to solve that issue we're going to take and move tweak it just a skosh that way And we look like we're pretty good there. So that looks that looks fairly fairly decent. So now the other thing you want to do is you want to take your your car and either put it on a track or you can also do it on your um, on your setup block. You want to take it and you want to do this and you want to see where you're at on the front end now you want as soon as the front tires lift off of the tech block you want the shoes to lose contact with the front with the with the rail itself so if we put the other car on here you'll notice how it pretty much as soon as the front end leaves the track, it's picking those shoes up. You don't even see those shoes drop at all. Where on this car, you can you can see we've got we've got a lot of play right there before the shoes even leave the tech block or the, the shoe setup block. So you're going to want to adjust that. Now to adjust that, you you want to crimp these tabs that are on the front. You want to crimp them down a little more, and that will that will help solve that issue. So the car um, is uh, the shoes will leave the uh, track at the same time as the front tires. So take this one off. And sometimes when you do this too, you may have to come back and um, readjust the shoe a little bit. So after you do this, you'll want to you'll want to check your your um, block again and see where where your tires are leaving the, the block and when the pickup shoes leave the block. And then once you get that set, woo. Then you'll want to uh, go back and make sure you haven't changed your other setting on the block to make sure that the shoes are still making complete contact all the way across that step. Come on. Okay. So now let's check our. You can see we still have a little bit better, but we still, the wheels are still leaving the track and the shoes are still making contact. Why we're doing this is because you don't when the, if the car goes into the corner and wants to roll, you're wanting these shoes to lose contact with the rail, so it loses power, so it settles itself back down again. It helps with your handling, and it helps helps in that way too to keep the car on the racetrack, keep it flat, keep it level, and uh, keep it from wanting to deslot.
and in some cases it takes it it, it could take you quite a ways to um, get these adjusted just to the just to the right way Keep them to uh, to keep them right to get them right where you need them to be. And in some cases, you may you may over adjust a little. So I see we're still getting there, but not quite enough. So let's keep working with it here. Try it again. So as you can see, we're still still making contact with that. So I'm going to go off camera here for a little bit, and I'm going to finish getting this up. You guys kind of get the gist. So I'm going to finish getting these set to that, and I'll come back and show you guys the finish of that, and then we'll check our we'll check our flatness all the way across the shoe one more time. Um, to make sure it's right. So give me a little bit here and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So I think I've got it now. Put it back on the block. I got it fairly close. As you can see, it, there's still a little bit of play there. Particularly on this, this side of the car. But I think that is good enough for now to work with. So now we'll just go back and we'll double check. Make sure that we didn't change the other way at all. That side looks fairly decent. And that side looks fairly decent. Okay, so I think we got it. So that's how you install a front end and how and what you got to do to um, get your shoes adjusted and, and perfect on your car. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out with the fray build. I'm going to work on this car a little more. I've got to get that rear end polished. i got to get it broken in a little bit. Brand new build that hasn't been broken in at all like this one has. This one needs to be taken apart and cleaned again from, uh, from the season it had this past season and whatnot. But that's pretty much it for the fray build. That's putting the car. This car is now complete. It took two cars to build it, but it's now complete. And uh, just go from there and have a good time. If you want a, a more in-depth and watch a pro set up a pair of pickup shoes, go to Wizard. Uh, go to Wizard on YouTube and watch RC on his channel uh, do his shoe adjustments on his. He is a wizard at adjusting pickup shoes. So if you want to see, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. If you want to go a little more in-depth with the pickup shoes, go watch that video. He is very good at what he does. And uh, he'll show you, uh, he even goes into a little more finer points on a couple of things that I haven't got into here. But go check him out as well. So, hope you guys have a great week. Be on the lookout next weekend for a uh, bi-weekly featured car. 
And uh, after that, uh, we'll figure something out to, for the next week after that um, to put up what we're going to be working on. So uh, have a great week. Keep that pin in the slot. Keep them wheels on the downside. Keep racing slot cars. And I'll talk to you guys next week with the Bi-Weekly Future Car. I'm out. I love you guys. Catch you later.